Welcome! Today we'll be making classic French-style bouillabaisse. I'm Chef Nelma and you're watching Publix Aprons Cooking School Online. To make our bouillabaisse, we're going to need a stock first. We're going to use these shrimp for both our base and our soup. These are easy peel shrimps that have already been deveined. To shell the shrimps, we're basically going to open up the top like this and start guiding it off just like that. You want all of the legs as well as the tail for the actual stock. Now that we have all of our shrimps peeled, we're going to keep the shrimps refrigerated until used and work with the shells first. To make our stock, we need a hot pot and we're going to add a little bit of oil. First, we're going to cook our shrimp shells in the oil until they turn nice and pink. Once the shells are cooked for about two to three minutes, we're going to start adding the rest of the ingredients. First, we're going to add some sweet onions. Next, some rough cut carrots. Then we have some celery. Next, we're going to add the fennel fronds. Fennel is a vegetable that looks like this. It has the bulb and it has the fronds up top here. For the stock part, we're only using the fronds and then the fennel, the actual bulb, will go into our soup. So in goes the frond of the fennel. Once your vegetables have sweated for a few minutes, we're going to go ahead and add the rest of the aromatics. Our garlic cloves, a bay leaf, some thyme sprigs, you want these whole in there, as well as some stems from our parsley that we've already prepped for the soup. Mix all of this together and we're going to add two tablespoons of this tomato paste and cook this down in the oil as well to extract the flavor. Once all of our aromatics have cooked in here for about three minutes, we're going to go ahead and add all of our liquids into this. First, we're going to add some vermouth. This will help deglaze the bottom of the pan. We did get some fond at the bottom. Basically, all the sugars caramelize and get toasty and attach to the bottom of the pan. Just scrape the bottom like this, release all of that toastiness at the bottom. Then we're going to add all of our water. Give it a quick stir. Bring all of that flavor to marry everything else in here. We're going to bring this up to a full boil and then let it simmer on low to medium for about 35 to 45 minutes. A rui is a condiment typically served with a bouillabaisse, base. So let's get started. We need some toasted brioche rolls. Then we're going to add some roasted red peppers garlic cloves, some cayenne pepper, some oil, and some saffron. The way you bloom saffron is it has to be activated in a liquid. So what we've done is we've taken some sherry vinegar, which is part of the recipe, and microwaved this for about 30 seconds to help elevate the um, flavors, as well as develop the color in this saffron. Okay, once the base is ready, we're going to add mayonnaise to this. Blend it again.
our rui is ready and now we're going to set it aside in the refrigerator. For the soup, we need to heat up our pot. Into the pot, we're going to add our oil. Then you're going to start adding all your vegetables, carrots, shallots, Remember that fennel bulb? We have that chopped up. That goes in. We have celery. We have some garlic. And we have all of our potatoes. Once our vegetables have sweated for about five to seven minutes, we're going to go ahead and season it with some salt. You want to season generously because remember, we didn't put any salt in our stock or anywhere else. Into this, we're going to add our vermouth and bring it to a boil. Give it a little mix. All right, our vegetables have cooked for about five to seven minutes. The vermouth is boiling in here. We're going to add our stock that we have previously cooked and strained. This has developed a beautiful color while it simmered for 35 minutes. Next, we're adding the tomatoes. Give this a good stir. And then we're going to add our saffron. Remember how we bloomed the saffron for the Rui? In this case, we do not need to do that because the liquids are already in our pot and all of the cooking for the next 25 minutes will activate the color and the flavor in the saffron. We're going to bring this up to a boil and then lower down the heat and simmer until we add our seafood. Our soup has been cooking for 25 minutes, and now it's time to add the seafood. First, we're going to add some cod. Gently just drop the pieces of fish into the broth. This dish was created in the 17th century by fishermen in Marseille. Next, we're going to add the shrimp. Typically, there's three kinds of seafood in a bouillabaisse. And finally, the mussels. By adding all our seafood to this broth, we've just lowered our temperature of the soup and it's going to stop simmering. But we don't want to cook all the seafood in for more than three to five minutes. Therefore, I'm going to turn up the heat just a little bit to bring it back to a simmer. Our soup is ready and you know that when all of the mussels have opened up. At this stage, go ahead and remove any unopened mussels. Let's get this plated. So you want to make sure when you're plating the soup, you get a little bit of everything. Remember, we have three kinds of seafood. We have the potatoes in there and all of those vegetables that went in there. We're going to garnish this with some parsley, lemon juice, and then remember that rui we made? A nice dollop of it. Okay, and let's taste this. Wow, what a great dish. All of those flavors just came beautifully together. It's a great dish to make for a weeknight meal. Click the link below for this full recipe. Subscribe to the Publix YouTube channel and check out the Aprons Cooking School online playlist for more from our chefs. Thank you for joining us.